Okay, let's see. Well, for some of you, the first thing that's coming through is uh, there's a decision about a divorce, a division of assets, a separation. It may be a decision to break up, set, go our separate ways. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. You could just be deciding to kind of freeze out or ice out because this is the rune of ice. Um, it, you're freezing someone out, blocking someone, or maybe someone's doing that to you. But in general, when, when this comes up with the judgment card, it could have something to do with yeah, legally separating and, and uh, going our separate ways or breaking up with someone, ending your association with them or vice versa. Um, so, and for some of you, if, even if it's not, if it's like further into July and you're watching this video, this could be what's going on right now. Cause the present again, just like everything else in these general readings will be different depending on when you're watching. Um, so there's also maybe a decision that you or someone else has been putting off and it could be that this delay or like you're not able to delay it anymore as we get into July. It's like you, you have to make a decision and that could be about anything if that's the way it's working out for you. Um, you know, not every Aries is going to be breaking up with someone or, or getting divorced. So this could just be like a decision that you or someone else can no longer put off. So if it's, if you're waiting on a decision from someone else, you may have to kind of push and be like, Hey, I need to know what's going on here. I need to know what we're going to do. And I need to know, you know, what's the news? <laughs> what, what, which way are we going here? Or, or uh, because you, it's like maybe it's putting, it does seem like it's putting other aspects of your life on hold, like like it's a freeze frame. I can't do anything until you let me know what the judgment is, what the decision is. Um, this could also be regarding uh, something from the past. So this could be um, a judgment you made on someone from the past, kind of coming back up for review. We do have Mercury retrograde in July, so that can bring up uh, it can bring people from the, out of the woodwork, old issues, old arguments, old, you know, people you haven't spoken to in a while. Again, people that you've been separated from could be an ex that you haven't talked to in forever, that you froze out. Uh, it's like coming back for review. Now, that this doesn't mean you have to engage with them or respond to them or, or you know, open that door again. Uh, again, different for all of you. Some of you may want to do that. Others of you are like, hell no, I'm not doing that. Um, it, it just depends. So yeah, there, there is, um, for some of you, a, a resurrection, as it were, of something that has either been on hold or again, there's been a, a severance of ties. And so there, but now it's, it may be coming back the situation, the issue, maybe it wasn't ever fully resolved. And so that's why it's coming up for uh, review. Now the challenge, the challenge is the past because we've got the six of cups. So it's interesting. So yeah, the challenge or focus, I mean, with the six of cups could be, yeah, the past, childhood, siblings, an old love, uh, an old crush, an ex, someone who let you down, someone that there's been conflict with, could also be a family member. This is someone that may have blindsided you, and that's that's the word I'm getting. Blindsided you or blindsided someone that you care about. And it's like, it's all coming back up for review, or again, these two feel very strongly connected. Judgment and the Six of Cups, just because they both deal so, they both have so many connections to the past. So this can, with the six of cups, your challenge can be sometimes not viewing someone or the past through rose colored glasses, remembering the bad times too, or remembering the bad aspects of that relationship or that person as well. Because sometimes when we look back and especially when we're like, oh, that was true love or whatever. And we just think about the fun times, right? Uh, we don't think about the bad things or, you know, we've had so much distance. It doesn't have the intensity or we're not feeling the same trauma or drama or upset from it that maybe we did uh, in the past. So really, really, uh, you know, if it is somebody coming back from the past, put yourself back into, 
you know, even though you've probably, you know, if it's been a number of years, you've probably evolved to Aries. And again, we evolve past these things. It all contributes to who we are. But really try hard to put yourself back into who you were at that time. Because for some of you, this may be going back some years. It could be, when, you know, when you were a child even. Because uh, Six of Cups has a lot of connections to children and childhood. Um, it could have something to do with your children. This could be an ex, you know, that you share children with. That there has been, like, you haven't heard from them in years. And here they are. And, and uh, you know. So, yeah, there could be a connection to that. It could be a parent. It could be a mother. It could be somebody, it could be somebody that you should have been able to depend on, like a parent, like someone whose responsibility it was to care for you or, or look after you, and they really dropped the ball. And that's been a source of conflict. Uh, but, you know, maybe there were good times within that as well. Or maybe the family you got out of that, like maybe someone else raised you, your grandma or your auntie or, you know, your, your uncle or, you know, somebody, uh, somebody else took on that mantle, right. And became that role model for you. It took on that role. And, um, so now when you look back, you know, you are, I think it's bringing up good and bad, but they're just saying like, Absence t does tend to make the heart grow fonder. So it is kind of like that whole um, prodigal son, you know, if you're from the Bible where, you know, he comes back, he's been a total jerk, you know, uh, to his dad. And, and um, meanwhile, one of the other sons has been there doing everything that's expected. And, you know, the woman has been away and he's been a, you know, a real jerk to everyone comes back and you know is celebrated and there's feasting and all of this stuff so it could be that kind of an energy and it could be you tempted to do this so maybe it is one of your kids Aries for some of you um just really kind of think about how it might make other if, if there are other children involved like if you have other kids like how would it make them feel I'm not saying you of course you're happy to see your own child if there's been like a, a, a distance or a some reason that you severed ties but yeah remember the good and the bad especially the emo the feelings like how someone made you feel how you felt in that certain moment when something happened because um you have to take all of that into consideration to make a fair judgment right to to make a decision on whether or not you're going to let someone in um what you're also for some of you it could be again yeah a long lost parent wanting to reconnect, um, you know, maybe you were adopted, you were, you know, and you found your, your birth mother, you found your birth father, or they found you, and there's this, like, you know, you're trying to reconnect. Be careful of, you know, idealizing, and, um, you know, because when we don't know someone, or if we only knew someone when we were small, we don't know them at all, right? We just have, we just have these little snippets of memories so um there's this tendency to idealize whoever isn't there right so just make sure that they uh you know you're not giving them more credit than they deserve for who they are and how much they've changed although i do feel like for most of you this person has grown and there's just i think this enthusiasm from you to get over the past or let it go and, and rectify it fix it but you do need to make sure, like, if you've never gotten the chance to be heard by this person or to let them know certain things, like how they made you feel in the past, you, you do need to do that. Otherwise, there could be resentment that builds up. If, if this is going to work, you need to kind of air those grievances. The help that's going to be available, we do have the death card. So there is a situation that is ending that you want to end. Don't freak out. People freak out. I, I do not feel this is a physical death. I don't. Even though we have the severance of dies, uh, I, I don't think that. Uh, some of you, though, I, I am getting that someone that you thought had passed has not. Like, maybe it's just we haven't heard from this person in forever. And that's a very... I would say that it could only maybe apply to one person out there, but I mean, maybe there's multiple people, but yeah, we thought so-and-so was dead because nobody had heard from them in years. Um, you know, maybe they lived kind of a wild lifestyle and because nobody had heard from them in years, it's like resurrection back from the dead. 
and it's good. I mean, people are happy, but just if there, it could be a bit shocking. Um, what's going to help you though is there's a lot of luck around to end or to put an end to any situation that has been negative for you, but it has a very positive ending. There's loss though in with this. Whenever the death card comes up, it is, you know, it's an ending, but it's a beginning. So there's this letting go of whatever's dying. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's, that is uh, difficult for us. It's also a transformation. It's a big change, right? So sometimes we're just like maybe um, grieving the familiar or, or, or what we have known up to this point. Um, but the new is also exciting. And with Thor's rune here, I really feel like this is a lot of luck being rained down. Like maybe this is a situation that yet yeah, that you needed help to, 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 to bring about, you know, maybe you, this is something you've been praying for, waiting for. And, um, it could be very fortuitous or just lucky how you hear about this or how maybe this new opportunity comes in, um, how this situation ends. Again, I think it's kind of unexpected and shocking. And I do feel like this is still for most of you connected to this same situation we were talking about here in the present and with the challenge, um, this past connection to the past and with someone from the past. So um, I think for many of you, what's coming to an end is this period of separation. And um, some of you may be out and you just run into this person. You know, you may be out doing your, your, your grocery shopping or running your errands and you just yeah, happen to run into this. And it is gonna be kind of that like, did I see a ghost? Do I know that per? I think I know that person. <gasps> is that, yeah, it is. You know, I, I just feel like you going through all of that in like, you know, like one second and being like, oh my gosh. Um, and then poof, right in that moment. And this is a spiritually led meeting, okay? Your spirit guides are putting you here. Uh, their spirit guides are putting this person, whoever this is there at the same time. Um, so that this does happen so that you do see each other. You do run into each other. Um, others of you, if there, if there is a funeral that, I mean, it, I don't feel like for most of you, this is someone close to you, but it could be that you are seeing someone at a funeral of a distant relative or maybe, yes, yeah, so maybe someone like, uh, an older relative has passed away. I don't feel this would be unexpected though. Um, what I do think may be unexpected is who you see at the, at the service, at the funeral. So, um, and that would be quite a quite literal trans translation of the death card. It's like, here you are at a funeral and then you are also reconnecting. So it's a death and a rebirth right there. You're reconnecting with someone from the past. Um, interesting. This is someone that you've, you've got, you have had in the past, or maybe, and for some of you still have, sticky feelings about that kind of like, uh, I love you, but I don't know if I like you, or I love you most of the time, or I love you because I have to, but at least that's how it was in the past. Looks like you can turn over a new leaf though, many of you. But what must be accepted about the month? We've got the 10 of wands. A lot of responsibility on your shoulders, Aries. And I mean, this could be, I feel like it's from all areas. So um, many of you, it's like, I, you know, I got all this with work, then all this stuff going on with family or with the ex or with the, um, yeah, this kind of uh, resurrection from the past. Um, maybe a lot of stuff to take care of if, you know, and arrange with your schedule. Um, delegate if you can in July Aries, because anything that you can delegate, like maybe even, you know, at home, if you've got kids, give them maybe some things. Can you help me out with this? Can you know, I got to go to work. I need to, to help out around the house, do the dishes, unload the dishwasher, whatever, do the laundry. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's a month where you're not, you're just not going to be able to handle all of this. Um, you could do it, but you will just be so exhausted. There won't, there won't be any energy left. And I feel like you need the energy left more for your personal life than work stuff in, uh, in July, because, you know, emotions can take a lot out of us. And I just think you're going to, you're going to be processing a lot and I don't think it's bad, but it's just a lot. It's big. 
when, when you've got a major, you've got two major arcana. So, um, and it does all seem to be for most of you going on in the relationship sphere. So and this could be like severing ties with a job and, and a new opportunity that comes in, but that's kind of the last way that's coming in for me. I feel like this is more to do with, again, the past and uh, a relationship. Um, so yeah, Aries, be sure to delegate whatever you can in the month of July and definitely don't overcommit yourself. Um, hopefully maybe hearing this ahead of time, like if you run your own business or you're freelance or whatever, um, and I know if you're freelance, it may be hard to turn down jobs, but I, I think you may find yourself, if you say yes to everything, uh, by mid month, you're going to be like, what was I thinking? So, um, you don't have to do a light month, but definitely, you know, do your best. And with Mercury retrograde, it can be very hard to schedule because things come up, things get delayed, start dates get changed, projects get extended or canceled, or everything gets kind of flummoxed uh, with that. But um, I feel like there's something that will have to be redone, uh, you know, and that's going to add to your workload. So if you can keep it light at the outset of the month, the beginning, uh, because I think this is going to be like, yeah, something's going to come back on your desk and it may not have nothing to do with you, but you've got to fix it or you've got to redo it or they've decided to change their strategy or the way they're doing something. And so you got to go in or you and the team have to essentially redo it or resend it. Um, also a month that would be a good idea to back up all your files as you're working that's happened to all of us, right? You're working on something and then poof, we hadn't saved and you know, the system just stops at work or whatever and you lose whatever because you hadn't saved it. So yeah, I would save, resave, have your backups, back it up on your drive. Uh, you know, um, it's definitely going to be a month where you want to pay attention to that sort of thing, Aries. Um, so you can kind of cut this off before it happens. That's the way these readings can help the most, you know? If you know ahead of time, you know, yes, this may still happen, but you'll be like, oh, I'm the only one who saved my document. Now I don't have to waste time redoing this. The outcome, we have the five of cups. It's in reverse though. Much better in reverse. This is recovering from a loss, moving past something, moving past... A situation where you feel like maybe you didn't heed your intuition. And again, maybe we are talking about the past. So this is a very focused reading for you, Aries. I feel like for most of you, this is dealing with one thing. It's going to be, it's going to be the highlight of the month. Like the thing that you're thinking the most about or feeling the most about. So yeah, this may have been a situation or a person that you just feel like you, you either, again, were totally blindsided or you ignored your intuition um, but I think you really felt like your your intuition may have misled you. Like, uh, you know, it may have been something where I thought I had all the right signs or I thought that this was going to work out um, and it didn't. But now I can, you know, I can finally get over this or recover because this person has come back and um, I can at least say what I want to say. I may not want them to stay in my life permanently, but at least there doesn't have to be this regret hanging like this regret of never getting to say what I needed to say or apologize or now for some of you, because this is a, this is a general reading Aries. Maybe you're the one that hurt someone and they're, the, they're viewing you as, you know, this person that they didn't trust their judgment. Um, maybe you're the one that's reaching out and trying to reconnect with someone or running into someone, uh, you know, and, trying to apologize, trying to say like, you know, I was going through some stuff back then. I'm not the same person. Uh, either way, I do feel like by the end of the month with this in the reverse, you're going to be able to feel like at least I said it right on my end. I did everything that I can do and I'm no longer feeling this heaviness or regret or loss associated with this because either this person is back or I've made it as good as I can make it. So and just remember, yeah, if you're running into somebody that you have a kind of sticky past with or, or some unresolved issues, that's happening for a reason. You're being spiritually guided to run into them so that you can look at this again. 